welcome back to the channel and uh, yeah in a car park stayed here last night and uh, it cost eight pound for 24 hours and uh, there's quite a few camper vans here as well so yeah not the best scenery and it's not the best weather look at this absolutely shocking yes this building here is the toilets so yeah in a place uh, Thlangothlin it's right in the centre of Thlangothlin a little car well it's quite a big car park it's the, well, it's the main car park what am I on about I haven't woke up quite just yet Did an open mic last night with uh, Anita and uh, Chippy, my mate. He uh, he came with us. Yeah, absolutely brilliant night. Yeah, old Chipmeister got up on the uh, on stage singing. So I'll put some little clips in. Of uh, I didn't think to record me and Anita again. But when I was sat there, I did some recording of Chippy. So, yeah, enjoy. Now, I don't know about you, but that even sounded like Elvis. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a good night. Oh, dear. Great night sleepy, you know, to be honest. Never heard a thing. But I think that might have been down to the Guinness I drunk last night. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, what a miserable day. I'll have a look on the app in a minute to see if there's any break in this. Because I might have to move from here because oh, Numpty behind me, she won't go to the toilet on concrete. She just, she won't do it. She's done it a couple of times, but that's when she's absolutely desperate and has no other options. If I was to just walk around this car park now, she would just get soaking wet, i get soaking wet, and she would do nothing. So I might have to move and go and find some grass so she can go to the toilet. <laughs> All spoiled backside there, didn't you? Eh? Spoiled. She's done it since she's been a pop, though. She just <laughs> won't go on concrete. Yeah, so van life is an old beach beaches and great scenery yep it's the car parks as well so <laughs> yeah yeah oh I know um, Facebook and Instagram painted as amazing and don't get me wrong it is amazing but you gotta have the rough with the smooth you know, when you can find them spectacular places, brilliant. It is fantastic. But, uh, yeah, van life in winter, well, coming into winter, is a different thing altogether. So, yeah. And you'll probably find that them people that have got these beautiful places or what have you, they just go off for the, for the weekend. So... Yeah, being full time is completely different. Yeah, you don't seem to travel hundreds of miles just to go to a, a place, spend a two night or two, and then come home. Because yeah, th this is your home. So it looks like it's going to be a a bit of a van day. It is absolutely persisting them. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, oh, blinking it. I looked at the map as well, the, the weather app I got, and uh, it's giving it some stop around about three o'clock, but then starts again at five, and then it's in all night. So, yeah, we've got a little window of no rain. <laughs> yeah. So she ain't gonna go on the toilet on this car pack, so yeah, I might move in a bit. I'll feed her that first and then, yeah, find somewhere else to go. <laughs> anyway, where there's grass. Oh, I'm gonna have another coffee anyway, see if I can wake up. Yeah, guys, I don't think you can see that, but uh, I come back on the panorama and uh, just having a bit of uh, cheese toasty. I've done one side and doing the other, <laughs> as you do. Yeah, couldn't really uh, stay on the car park. She won't go to the toilet on concrete or tarmac. It's just, yeah, it's a pain in the backside for that. And uh, it was getting quite chilly as well, and I wanted to start my diesel eater, and I didn't really want to be doing that when people are walking past you and parking next to you. So, yeah, come up here. But uh, yeah, fancy a cheese toasty. So I don't know why I do it all the time. I've just made the blinking thing. I'll drink a pop instead. And it is just ordinary Diet Coke. No vodka or whiskey in it. <laughs> so it's still, I don't know if you can hear that. It is clacking it down. Yeah. Let's give it to stop raining around about three. I'm not holding my breath with it, but it's just going to be a van day. Like I said before, it's just one of them days that, yeah, can't really do much about it. You just got to deal with it and get on with it. So, yeah, I do take it a toilet break, so yeah, I am getting soaking wet every time I take it out. But, yeah. Yeah, I don't fancy taking layers of skin off, so I'm going to do it this way. It is really horrendous. I don't know if you can hear that. Probably can. Yeah, the rain's really coming down now. I'm inside in the warm, dry and a hot drink. Don't need anything else. Well, some sunshine, a beach, and a tequila. It's still raining, so I'll take this opportunity to answer some of the questions that uh, I'm getting quite a lot, and they keep cropping up. And uh, yeah, one of the first ones I've been asked a lot really is, "Do I get lonely?" and it's a yes and a no answer because yeah there's you'll always get days where you think oh you know and then I pick up the phone and I say to any of my friends in van life you know where are you parked and I'll pop over or you know so you'll always get days where you you need that just that other conversation but I'd say a good 80% I like to be on my own. Any, I I do enjoy my own company, and I don't know if that's classed as selfish or comes across that way, but it it really isn't. I just prefer some most of the time to be, you know, on my own company because it's just one of them things. Uh, I've always been the same, really. So yeah. You know, if I, like I'm with Chippy now, but he's not here. He's gone off to do his thing. I've come up to do my thing. And then we'll meet up later on. So, yeah, you've got that balance where, yeah, you've got your evening and you can have a good laugh and stand out and we'll be we arguing at the pub tonight <laughs> again. So, yeah, you've got that. But during the day, you, you know, we, he'll do his thing, I'll do my thing. It's like when I phone Craig and I meet up with Craig. And, uh, you know, you're not in each other's pockets the whole time. You know, you go off 
especially with you, when you're with two YouTubers, because you don't want to be filming, walking side by side, because it will cross over onto your video and his video, and it's just a yeah, it's just a mess. So, yeah, it's just I, I like my home company. It's it is as simple as that. And uh, the other questions are, you know, do you ever not feel safe? I always feel safe. At nights when that door shuts and I got my curtains, it's just like your own little bubble. I've never, ever had a knock or been told to move on. Ever. And I've been over 12 months now in this van. And prior to that, I was car camping for a good 12 months. So, and during all that time, I've never been told to move on or had a knock. So, yeah. Work that out for yourself, because, yeah, you don't get a knock. So, you do if you want to make a prank or, you know, for YouTube or whatever, you get a friend to knock on your van, you know, you wake up with a camera in your hand. What's that? <laughs> yeah, right. No, it's all uh, BS. So... And uh, what were the other questions? Uh, mostly all about Sage and how do I cope being in a van with such a big dog? It's, she's never underfoot. We can both be here, I can do me cooking, she can be eating and you know, it's not like, oh, move or get out the way. It's, well, you, you just manage and cope. And one of the other quite big questions I get is about the power in the van oh, I was having a tickle in my throat then yeah the power in my van now I dropped lucky I've I always had the 115 amp hour lead acid battery and that did me in the van for 12 months and it's only recently and I mean very recently as you'll see in my videos I got a, a lithium 200 amp battery, which, yeah, everything in this van is 12 volt, so I could probably be off grid for about two weeks without even charging the van, without even starting the van, I should say. Everything that's in here is 12 volt. If I need anything with the plug or a, like an inverter, I've got an All Powers uh, S2000 Pro which is what I use for the air fryer, uh, charging my razors. Anything that plugs in goes in the All Powers S2000 Pro. And I do have this little Energizer 240 watt, which I always keep topped up, and uh, that charges my phones at night. So, and you know, just little bits, you know, like um, I vape. So I just plug my vape into it. So. And that one is that, you know, it's that. That's all it is. It's actually fully charged now, so I can take that out, to be honest. But And if you're editing, and it's a nice day, you know, you can even go to a park bench, carry it with you, plug your phone in or your laptops, whatever you're using to edit, and you can edit in sunshine, you know. So that is probably the, the most used out of the two. The all powers are that. That is used every day. Every day. <laughs> Another big question I get asked is uh, finding park ups. And yeah, if you're new to this, when I first started, I downloaded some apps. The main one that I used was Park for Night. But um, if you're traveling, at the end of the day, your car's taxed, MOT'd, and insured. So laybys, even though some say you can't park in a layby, <laughs> yeah, right. You're fully legal. It's a public highway, so ignore everybody. And yeah, you can park on these laybys. When I'm local, I know like the main stops that I I got like a circuit that I use. But um, yeah, if, if I'm anywhere different. That I'm not sure of I just go on park for night but make sure you read the go scroll down and 
when you find a place scroll down and read the reviews they do come in handy so yeah if you start hearing about boy racer heaven i went to one and uh all the reviews were on about boy races this that and the other and noisy i had the best night's sleep didn't see anybody so sometimes these reviews go bad because they don't want other van lifers to go there so wait up i always tend to go to a park up and you kind of know your gut feeling if you don't feel that it's it's not for you come find another one it's as simple as that but nine times out of ten wherever i park i stay so yeah yeah and to be honest the uk is probably the worst place in the world for van life they just don't want you in a van they want you paying poll tax and rent so all these uh, like the height barriers uh no overnight parking don't no sleeping in your vehicles you know it's just every obstacle to put in your way to stop you being in a van and uh yeah to be honest i don't pay attention to them if i park there i park there i've never been told to move on so it is what it is if you like i said if you you know in your gut if it's not the place you think and then you know just turn your key and move but yeah when you look in these places abroad like france spain and everything and they're putting free electric on for you you dump your waste and yeah and it's all free you know come on uk <laughs> and another question is is uh, what's your worst uh, your worst month so yeah the only thing i can think of of, of that question was uh, it's got to be winter I think everybody in a van hates winter unless you just hate the heat and you prefer the winter <laughs> but my thing with the winter is the amount of rain you get in winter keeping her dry you know she's jumping in the van the first thing she wants to do is jump on the bed but i'm like no i let the towel dry her but then you got that it's like my biggest oh i hate the smell of wet dog because it lingers and then if she's on the bed then damp you know her bed smells of wet dog or this blanket will smell of wet dog and it just drives me insane so yeah yeah winter's probably my worst <laughs> yeah that the rain starting to come in now <laughs> another question i get is do i use campsites and the uh, simple answer is no i i don't the only time I paid for a campsite was Van Festival in Shrewsbury, but there was thousands of us there. You know, it was a it was a festival. So yeah. Last night I paid eight pound to stay in a car park, and they. That's very far few, between. It's very rare I pay for, just to stay anywhere. Uh, I'm completely off grid. So that's the reason why I don't need campsites. So I got no anywhere in the van to plug into theirs. So yeah, I'm completely off grid. So yeah, to me, there's no reason to go to a campsite. So yeah, there's plenty of showers about. So you can easily get a shower. What I mostly do is I fill the sink with hot water and have a strip wash. So, yeah. So to go to go pay on campsites and no, that's a no. And the other reason is, is especially around North Wales area, um, you can pay up to forty pound a night, and that's just basic. You just pull it up on a field. You have got the immunity the amenities there you know the toilets the showers and whatever else they got there but that's basically it so yeah simple answer no i don't use campsites just made that for me tea it's uh stewing steak garden peas and new potatoes all in tins 
Right, come down off the panorama now. Chips in front of me, we're in a, like a back lane car park now. We're still in Langoslin. We got a, we're going to another open mic. <laughs> yeah, if I can remember, I will record. So, yeah. Had a tick on her blinking eyelid. Took a while to get it out, didn't it, girl? Dear me. It only just gone in there, so yeah. She's on that treatment. She gets the first of every month. I go take her. She gets weird. She has the correct dose. So I think if they start drawing the blood, they'll fall off anyway. But you know, I just don't like them on her. I take them straight. I got the things to take them out properly. Yeah, swining things. So yeah, we're in a car park again. It's a cheaper one this one, it was only four quid. So yeah, I've never paid so much for parking. <laughs> to be honest, it's only because it's so miserable. It has rained like, oh, I know you've had it everywhere, haven't you? But, oh yeah, it's been torrential. Some of the roads down there are closed because of the flooding. So, yeah. So we've opted to pay the four pound in the car park. It takes you right through then till eight in the morning. So yeah, doing that. Right guys, I'm gonna end this one here anyway. So uh, if I remember to record tonight, I'll put it in the next vlog. <laughs> so if you're not subscribed, press subscribe and then you might, you might hear me play guitar and a neat singer, <laughs> if I remember. So I want to thank you all for watching my videos, to all my new subscribers, massive thumbs up, and to all my existing subscribers, thumbs up again. It's been, yeah, it's been awesome. So till the next one, guys, be good, be safe, and yeah, try and enjoy yourself. Yeah, it's not the weather, is it? So till the next one, guys, take care. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Bye!